What up, world? We back again with another review. It's your boy Chuck Wick Eels, aka Charles Brown. How you doing? Good, good. All right, I'm back again. I got another review. This time we're gonna talk about your boy Philly Freeway, the Philly Freezer Freeway, formerly of Rockefeller Records, The Rock, all that good stuff like that. There, um, it's raining out here. It's thunderstorming. Um, we're gonna see how it goes. Just chilling out here. The rain, I'm, I'm cool with the rain. It's the thunder we talking about and the lightning. But uh, whatever. So we're going to talk about this new album. It's called Think Free. Freeway's first release since 2016. He's back. In case you didn't know, he is back on Rock Nation. Your boy Jay-Z re-signed him, which I'm very... I'm, I'm happy that Jay is reaching back, bringing back these quality artists that he used to flow with. Free deserves that. Free got a lot of issues going on with his personal life. And I think when I see a quality, like an MC that's so, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? He's, he, he's very mature with this art form. He's very skilled. This dude deserves a record deal. He deserves I'm not saying that Jay gave him a record deal because he already has his own label, apparently. It's called the New Rothschild, Rothschilds. And apparently, they put the album together and I don't know if they did it before they got the deal with Rock Nation or after, but somehow Rock Nation picked up this company, um, assuming that it's Freeway and a couple other people is their venture. I don't know much about it. I'll look into that after I do the video. Um, but yeah, so you hear, you hear Freeway shouting out New Rothschilds throughout the LP if you're paying attention. And that's a that's a dope name. It's basically a new way to say Rockefeller. Basically, it's the same premise, the bottom line, when you peel back the layers of what it means. Um Freeway, man, Freeway been doing this thing for a minute, man. We've seen we we but Freeway disappeared for a little bit. And I, I read that he he did a pilgrimage that all Muslims must do. He did that pilgrimage um, and it took him some time. He had to get, I guess he restored his faith to some degree. And, you know, basically we all have that moment in time where we don't, we just don't feel right. You know what I'm saying? And he, he I guess he restored his faith. He went on his pilgrimage. And I guess on top of that, he was dealing with some health issues a lot of people didn't know until he became public with it. He was going through a, a kidney thing, which he still is. And I believe Five Dog was going through something similar since as long as we can remember, like the 90s. We've been hearing about Fife with the kidney issue and, and eventually it got the best of Fife. Rest in peace, Fife. Um, we hoping that that don't happen to Freeway. We praying for Freeway. But in the meantime, Freeway is still making quality music. I personally haven't heard something from Freeway in a minute. This is the first studio release that I've listened to in a very long time. I saw Freeway on stage with Jay when Jay was just starting. I'm not sure if it was the first or second Made in America show that Jay had started doing in Philly. And it was like, how you gonna go to Philly and not get with state property? Where no, where no one knew what the deal was with Jay Beans, Freeway, just the whole state property movement. And Jay brought him out on stage and it was a beautiful moment. Like legit, if you a fan, you was mad happy. You was mad happy. I was tweeting that, I was putting it out there. I was taking, I had title and I was putting, taking clips from my phone. Uh, I don't know if that was the first show or the second show that came out with Jay, but whatever show it was, all of them came out. You know what? That was when Jay did, the one that I was tweeting about was when Jay did, I think it was the B-Sides show. He did a, a special show. But in any event, having Free and Siegel and all these dudes that have so much history, it made, it made so much of an impact to us hip hop heads back 10, 15 years ago when Rock Nation was, I mean, uh, Rockefeller 
was in their bag. They just was going nuts. They had everything coming out of out of Rockefeller was just gold, platinum. I mean, it was it was unstoppable force. And before the breakup, the shake up, and you go this way, I go that way, all that. Rock Nation, Rock, Rockefeller had it locked. Everybody knows what happened in history. Rock, Rockefeller fell apart. Jay took the name. Dudes went all these different ways. A lot of your favorite artists, their fates became, you know, it was blown in the wind. What was going to happen to them? Freeway was one of them. And Freeway kept himself alive with, just like Killer Mike did, just kept himself alive with freestyles, just doing songs, just staying ear to the street, just staying relevant, just keeping, keeping the buzz and, People kept talking about Freeway, even when he appeared to not have a deal and the, the, the career was in limbo. He just kept just doing his thing. Uh, he was doing, he, he dropped a mixtape, a couple of things like that, and just stayed relevant. Fast forward, a lot of a lot of healing has taken place. Jay-Z has, has went from the most flossing, the most, almost, I want to say self-centered, egotistical, materialistic embodiment of rap to a selfless, a protagonist, a a philanthropist, a uh, a visionary to a degree, a activist, and he was healing a lot of wounds. He healed the wound with Jim Jones, I believe him and Cameron are good. He healed the wound with Fat Joe, healed that wound with Nas, that deep gash that divided a lot of us in hip hop. He healed whatever was going on with Siegel. He healed, I don't even think he ever had an issue with Freeway, but whatever was going on with State Property, I think only one of them, I think only one of them didn't rock with the whole re reunion and all that good stuff. But for the most part, to find somebody with a problem with Jay, you looking few and far between, you digging in crevices and you, you pulling out probably bottom feeders. You know what I'm saying? Dude's creating their own stuff with Jay and he ain't really feeding into it. But to see him go back, he didn't have to go back and grab Freeway. He went back, gave Jim Jones a deal, signed him to Rock, Rock Nation, which is a bigger, more broad, uh, inc you know, incantation of Rockefeller, but it's not Rockefeller. This is much bigger, it's much more Money on the table is much more at risk. He doesn't have to sign and take a chance on the freeway. Like they can just sign pop artists and just be good and roll out like that on some Def Jam. But they're not, he, he reached back. He signed freeway, apparently signed Jim Jones, apparently quite a few other people. And it's, it's good for hip hop. It's good for dudes like me that want that old feeling. Freeway brought that old feeling back in my opinion with this album. He's 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 tapping in to that to that sound, that market. A lot of live instrumentation. We're gonna get into that later. It feels like almost every song was created to fit Freeway's persona, his style, his flow, what we know him for. Every song was crafted around this guy's voice. It's a quality album. It's a quality album. And it's, it's, it's quite a few producers, but they all seem to go the same way of what we were looking for with this music. Like I said, Freeway been going through some issues with health. And I'm going to, I'm going to assume that that has something to do with the lack of his, um, self being on the scene as much. I, I, as a promoter, I did a show with Freeway a couple years ago, about three, four years ago. Freeway showed up, professional, rocked the house, did his thing. This was up in Rhode Island, and um, we had a, a great, a great turnout. One day I'll probably do the behind the scenes of that with my. I'm about to bring back the promoter story. The promoter story is about what really happened behind these shows. A lot of people like that. I'm about to bring that back. And Freeway was one of them shows. Um, yeah, he came in, the place was crazy, it went nuts. He performed quite a few joints that people was really feeling, and I got nothing but good things to say about this man. I never, I mean, he had the battle with Cassidy, 
and he had a, uh, they went back and forth with D Block. But I rarely heard, you rarely hear anyone talking crazy about Freeway. Like, this dude's name is pretty much good. Freeway's name is good out here. Like, when you start naming MCs, you're gonna be, if, if you bring his name up, it's gonna be hard for somebody to be like, yeah, nah, I'm good on Freeway. I, I really never, I've heard like one or two people be like, I can't, I don't like his voice or whatever. But other than that, it ain't a lot of that. You know what I'm saying? It's not a lot of people like, sometimes, you know, the, the people might say his voice is high pitched or whatever, but that's part of the charm, man. It's just, just part of the charm. That's a Philly thing. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, I've been listening, to, like in my Black Thought review, I've been listening to Philly since as long as I can remember. Schoolie D, Larry Law, EST, Fresh Prince, Cash Money, Marvelous, Steady B, Cool C, all that. Like, I've been listening to Philly forever. And Philly ain't never let me down. The roots, they never, they never let me down. I mean, it's just, it's, it's a great town for hip hop. And when they, I really want to say most of the rock itself, if not two thirds, was Philly dudes. You know what I'm saying? Putting it down, making hip records. Philly never let me down. Um, they got a new wave. It is what it is. But for me, I'm in I'm in the old wave, and Philly's part of the uh, freeway's part of that old wave for me. That hard, we don't back down. We where to fight at? We gonna fight. We gonna go in. We are gonna go nuts on this mic. Like this, like some dice roll. Like you know what I'm saying? Just unrelenting bars, just insane bars. And I think Philly don't get that respect that they should have got. But, uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and move on with this review. Get out of this rain, get out of this crazy thunder. And let you know how I feel about this album. It's a lot of info. A lot of info. I got all the producers' names. I got all of the features' names. So we're gonna talk about, I'm gonna be more in-depth about each song, the way I felt it. It's a quality album. I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm really rocking with what happened with this album. So without further ado, we're gonna talk about Think Free by Freeway. First song, intro, produced by Jay and Pi and Robert Thomas. I'm gonna assume his name is Pi, it says P-I. So we're gonna go Jay and Pi and Robert Thomas. Um, Freeway's a hood reverend, bro. This, this, this has a just blaze feel to me. It's mass soulful, baseline driven. Freeway's on some retrospective, just street rhymes. It's, it's the, 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 the loop is soulful. If there is a loop, it just feels like they did a lot more instrumentation on most of these songs. This feels early 2000s. It's just letting you know where the album's going. This album is going to be back of your mind thoughts, just that, that subconsciousness. He's bringing that to the front. Things that you want to say is all over the place, but it's all relative to what he wants to say. I think this is a perfect intro. This this album would not be as good as it is without this particular track because it sets the mood, it sets the tone, it lets you know who Freeway is as an artist. Next song, Blood Pressure, featuring Lil Wayne, produced by Skeleto and S. Frank. Uh, this is more up-tempo, it's a heavy kick and snare driven, low 808. Got the hi-hats in there, synth and keys. It's all live to me. It sounds like it's no samples. Lil Wayne is Lil Wayne. I haven't, I keep hearing Lil Wayne popping up on most of these veterans albums like Raekwon and Freeway. He's popping up. I think Lil Wayne respects this game for what it is. And I think he knows these are the records that's going to define him. The big records are going to make him relevant in the public eye, but for hip hop, when is when he's dead and gone, when it's over, these records with these veterans are going to define him. And he, it seems like he never turns down these guys. He never turns down these tried and true MCs. He'll be there for you, and I respect Lil Wayne for that. Uh, the song is good. It's it's more. It's a fast pace. It's, it's very high energy. It's a quality track. Skeleto, S. Frank, they did a good they, they did good work on this. Um, this is not something I'm going to skip. Next song, The Nation, featuring Jada Kiss, produced by S. Frank. It's uh, bass. It's bass guitar, 
nice organs, nice synth. Uh, it's a nice mix. The instruments, the pianos, the keys. It's just, it's very dope. I like uh, Freeway, the way he rides that beat. You know, he's a veteran. This is what he does. He's going to, you give him the right beat that sounds right for him, and it's going to work. Um, it's uh, Jada Kisses in form. Like, I, I don't hear many verses that Jada don't go dumb on. Like, it's, it's been 20 years, and this dude could literally spit about the same exact thing and still make it sound dope. It's, it's quality. I'm very, uh, three songs in, I like what I'm hearing. They're all very different, though. Every song has been very different. It's not like it's staying in one lane. Freeway's showing you that he can rock at different joints. And I, I'm pleased with what I'm getting. I'm very, very impressed. Next song, Blessed, featuring Faith Evans, produced by Jay and Pi. Uh, this is very mellow, beautiful instrumentation, uh, the bass guitar, uh, live sense, sense. The hook is great. Faith is great on this hook. It's, it's, it feels late 90s to me. This feels like a throwback track, but it, it feels it sounds good right now. And maybe because it's Faith. Maybe because Faith sounds so throwback. But her, her, her voice is always the same. It's timeless. I think that she always going to make you feel like you're back and, and Biggie's still alive. It's just going to feel like that. And that's what you're, I'm getting with this. Um, let's see, he's speaking on his kidney failure, he's just speaking on struggle. This is struggle rap. It's early millennium, it just feels like something that we got when Rockefeller was in its heyday, bringing us that real vibe like they do. Fourth song, I don't feel nothing is whack yet, I don't feel like nothing I need to skip. So let's keep it moving. Next track, Legacy. Produced by DJ Skiz. Again, more live instrumentation, more pianos. Uh, sounds like either up, right, or bass guitar. It's, it's flowing, the hook is fire. Um, I like, it's retrospective, it's spiritual. Spiritual undertones. The lyrics are, again, what we get from Freeway. Freeway is always, just feels like, I'm doing a lot. It just feels like he's just bringing you heart music. And even if he's talking about, he'll pull out a rugo and you pop you, it's still within the realm of someone who not necessarily promoted it, but it's grown man stuff. If someone's threatening your life or your kids and you got the ability to pop them, you're gonna pop them no matter what your faith is. And that's that's real talk and that's what it is with Freeway. And that's why we respect this man. Um, you know, just, just, just real stuff, man. I'm gonna keep it moving. Next song. All Falls Down, produced by DJ Skiz. And DJ Skiz did a lot of joints on here. Uh, going forward, he probably did a good four or five more tracks. I think he did like the next three or four. Um, and his work, it always in the same lane. I'm sure he got all kind of beats, but he got the right beats for Freeway. They're always, the drum patterns are hard driven. Uh, the, the, the live instruments are always you can tell that it's free flowing bass lines. It's never a repetitive loop. It's, it's none of that. It's all free flowing instrumentation. It's very, very elegant. Uh, on this particular song, Freeway's talking to the people he feel betrayed him or left him at his worst. We all have those moments. We all have those feelings. And Freeway's elegant in putting them into words. He's, he's very knowledgeable of how to create hooks. I'm not sure if he's creating all these hooks. I don't think he's creating all these hooks. I think these hooks are a community effort. I think he could be. I don't know. I could be wrong. But I think these hooks, they're so ingrained with the with the beats that they're made. He's probably creating the hooks, but the producer's putting a little input on every single song, it feels like. And it's working. I like where we're going with this. Next song, Life on the Line, produced by DJ Skiz. He produced this again, soulful singing on the hook. Feels like a love song to an ex or uh, a loved one who the feelings have changed over time and they flipped on them. DJ Skiz is mad soulful. These songs, again, they, they go in the same vein. I haven't heard nothing whack. We're not skipping nothing yet to this point. Right now, I'm not 
feeling like I need to skip. Some stuff I like better than others. I'll be honest about that, but I'm not like, this is nothing I have to skip. Now we're gonna go forward to the next song, which I, uh, Cocaine White featuring Fat Joe, which to me is the first hiccup, as far as hook wise. Um, it's like five producers on this, I, I can't name them all, but it, Fat, Joe's, Fat Joe does his thing on here. This is not a bad song by no stretch. I just don't like the hook. I don't like the cocaine white. I feel like that hook missed to me. Uh, Fat Joe's line about I'm easy eat with the flamethrower, that's a dope line. I like a lot of Freeway's verses, uh, uh, both Freeway's verses on here. But to me, I don't like the hook. I think it did not work. I think it's it's quirky, but the beat is good. The music is good. These guys, as a for five guys to be working on one song, they made a quality track. I don't have any problems with the music. Next song, All The Way Live. No, no, no. Yeah, next song, All The Way Live, produced by Business and EST. Now, I wonder if this is my man EST from back in the day, from Three Times Dope. It sound like him on the hook. This might be EST, and that that for that for that alone, that pushes this up <laughs> a couple notches. It's a, a trap feel to me, very now school. Uh, good tempo, they flossing on it. Again, I think this EST, and that's my dude. So I don't have nothing bad about this. This is more for a newer school uh, consumer than me. I won't skip it, but it's not something I'm gonna go to. If they say put on one song from the freeway, it won't be this. But it's it's a quality song at the same time. Next song, real one, featuring BJ the Chicago Kid and Chameleon, produced by Vidal Davis. I hope I said that right. Um, Freeze talking to fake individuals on here. The BJ is singing, very complimentary, very complimentary. It connects with the music. Uh, the beat is, is very retro. It has a straight out of Compton feel to me. The original straight out of Compton, not the movie. I'm talking about the original song from back in the day. The beat has that, it's, it's, it's very driving. It, it's very, it's chaotic. It, it, it doesn't let up, but I like it. It feels like I'm back in the 90s and it's, when they just straight out of Compton, they just going in. Um, it's, it's Chameleon speaking facts. Her verse, I don't even know who this is, to be honest with you. And now I'm going to be checking for her because she came off on this. And I probably heard her before, but I don't remember. But she bugged out on this. This straight out the hood. This is, <laughs> this project flow right here. This is ill. And this is, this is, uh, I'm going to be checking for Chameleon more. I think she complimented this, this record very well. Salute. Real One, Freeway, Chameleon, BJ, Chicago Kid, Dope. Next song, Swagger on a Mayo featuring Lil Uzi Vert, produced by Trife. It's a hard ass trap beat, it's like a strip club banger. I can see a chick upside down on a pole with this. This is a very, very now, another one, Freeway Strength. He's staying current. Um, I'm not really feeling the hook, but it's a good song, it's not bad, nothing's wrong with it. Uh, Lil Uzi Vert's fans should flock to this, uh, if they even know that this is out, hopefully he promotes it or whatever, but this this should get this should get his fans happy. This should make a couple new freeway fans. But it's a good song. I'm not this is not something I'ma be playing, but it's a good song again for 1990 now, right now. It's dope. Next song, About You, featuring Johnny. Produced by Robert Thomas and David and John Rivera. Very chill. This is a girl joint, what I like to say, a girl joint. I like girl joints. This is like that new R&B, R&B soul, that, that hip hop love song. This is, right now, you can put this, this is Netflix and chill without the Netflix. You know what I'm saying? Just the chill part. This is dope to me. This is one of the highlight tracks on here. Freeway, for him to be such a hard MC, can be hard and still be, very, I ain't gonna say tender because that don't sound right, but uh, it's he, he, can, he can do that, he can go in that lane and still make it sound right. Some dudes go in that lane and sound ridiculous, sound very contrived, it sound like 
their manager made him do it. But this sound like Freeway was very he was uh truthful in here. It didn't it didn't sound forced. It, it's very the production is airy, it's light, but it's full, it's flushed out. And I think men and women could flow with this. It's not just your girl in the car, put this on, and you're like, oh my God, what this, this sound like this is dope on both sides of the of the spectrum. And I think he's talking to his favorite lady on this one. He's getting his inspiration from her. And it sounds real. It's a very quality track. I think the whole thing is dope. Uh, next song, I think the final song is Come Back, produced by Pop Tracks. Uh, it's a nice stiff snare with a fluent kick. Nice usage of that wood block, which you don't hear much of. When you usually, when you do hear it, it's very accented. It's, it's, it's accentuated. It usually carries the entire song. And that's what I think this wood block it, it, it accentuates a beat that may not have been as dope without it. I like that. Uh, it's old school sample. It's good hood bop. You know, the sample on the hook is dope. The beat got a nice bop to it. Freeway just reminding you what he do. This feels like some early Rockefeller. Um, he rides it e e easily. And he, when he jumps in and out with the, the hook, it sounds like a master at work. I think Freeway gave us a great album. I don't think he missed the mark on this. I think that this is what it is. Um, just some of the stuff that I didn't, that was okay. It, it was like just okay or whatever, or it didn't elevate the album in my opinion. Some of it was a little bit was filler, a little bit, a couple joints. Like I think this could have been 11 track joint, but I like 13, I, I want more music. I don't want this seven song nonsense get away from that so thank you for giving me 13 tracks i'm going to give this a b plus 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 it is what it is that's what i do which is really the equivalent of an a but I, like i said i have to take off for a little bit of stuff so we're doing it a b with five pluses this joint is dope go check this joint out freeway the philly freezer i really dig what this guy has done i'm glad he came back from the brink of wherever he was at and returned with good music. It wasn't like overly like, uh, you know, uh, mushy and it wasn't overly, uh, I'm sick. Like, you know, it was, it touched on everything and it still feel like a strong man who facing everything. It doesn't, he's not shying away from anything. And for that, I salute that man. Shout out to Freeway. Shout out to New Rock Childs. I hope y'all do well. Shout out to Rock Nation for signing Freeway. Pray for Freeway. God bless you, bro. Like the video. Don't like the video. Subscribe. Go to my other channels. I'm on, I'm on Instagram, Facebook, all that. Audio Liquor Magazine, the other channel. Dale does my reviews on there. A lot of underground reviews on there. And I think either tonight or tomorrow night, I'm going to start the For the Culture show on there. It is what it is. Go check that out. Catch you on the flip side. Peace.